What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf. In the Raf game, back is back to another reaction. This one I've been very decisive about. The Crow. A remake that has been tossed around for many years. Many different rumors of different actors trying to be the Crow. But it's like, man. Brandon Lee is a legend. He is the Crow. His look was perfect. The movie was perfect. Tragically, he passed during filming. Love the movie. You just don't step on Brandon Lee's crow. <sighs> so apparently they're going to make another one. Bill Skarsgård is the crow. Eric Draven. It's a different look. More of a Suicide Squad, Joker-esque, Jared Leto kind of a look. With the tats and the look and the short hair and the thing. And I was like, man. Bill Skarsgård, great actor. Love him in, as, uh, as it. And uh, Pennywise, yes. Yeah, he's, he's good. I mean, uh, John Wick 4, he's the villain, great actor. But come on, this is the crow. And I always like the long haired look of the crow. Brandon Lee has got the perfect face for it. Everything's perfect. Damn, this movie better. I don't know. I got very high expectations. If it don't meet it, this, you can kiss my butt making this movie. Thanks for watching this reaction. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let's check it out together. The Crow, 2024, Bill Skarsgård. Let's go. What was the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliant and broken. Do you feel like my person? <laughs> you feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. What's that? Hey! Julie! Julie! Please don't do this! Copyright music, but it's very good song! When someone dies, a crow carries a soul to the land of the dead. La 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 la. So is he alive or dead? There, he's in between worlds. Yeah. And the soul cannot rest. Who's this dude? Until you put the wrong things right. Whoa! You were given the power of a god. Eh. All right, I see you, Skarsgård. You got a little buff. All right. Props for that. But he did come off, uh, damn. He did come off some kind of fight movie. I haven't seen the trailer for that yet. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Striker. I killed you. Yeah, he did. We have a problem. When is he? He came for us. Okay. I was waiting for the makeup. Let's see it. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. Where's the crow at? Crow's gotta be around somewhere. Look at what you've become. You know that love promises only pain. I want to see a little bit darker scenes, like the shadow. I want to see him in a shadow a little bit. Hell you. Jeez, no, he's definitely I getting more not. injured in this one. Did he get run over? What? Okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay. People that you love. I never be alone. Okay. All right, production value is fantastic. It's got a great vibe to it. I truly believe that their their love connection is strong. And I think when they are killed, that's going to be a nasty, brutal scene. So you, it's almost, it feels like, you know, from a John Wick losing his, his puppy from John Wick 1, it kind of feels like that kind of a vibe when he lose, loses her. Uh, 
Um, I'm not, still not sure about the when he, what the eyes, what she saw. The eyes were glowing in the beginning of the trailer. Like, do they have some kind of ability? Or are they some kind of? I don't see vampires, but why were the eyes glowing like that? Was it a dream? Violence is definitely there. Blood and gore is definitely there. Definitely more than the original, which which I I'm okay with that. It's pretty cool. I mean, what's the limits of this this ability? I mean, can you cut his head off and he comes back to this? He's like a Deadpool guy or what? Yeah, you know, I don't follow the comics that much. I don't know his extent of of how much violence and destruction his body can take. But definitely show a lot more uh, uh, gruesome you know, mutilation of himself. You know, shot, stab, all this stuff. Um, he seems to. I want to see a little bit more darkness scenes like reason the shadows kind of like kind of like a batman hunting his prey kind of thing i want to see a little bit of that i mean you just walk into a building with all these lights on he's getting shot up yeah whatever blah 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 you can't touch me whatever blah I'll kill you blah, blah, blah. i mean it'd be good a couple of times but i don't want to see that the entire movie like he's some kind of terminator i want to i want him to be a, a little bit mysterious in the shadows where you don't see when he's coming if they can add that then this movie's gonna be badass he's got a good look um, he's not doing the whitish, like, uh, skin color. I mean, the, you know, the white, white. Seems they have his normal skin tone, like he's not dead. And I liked about Brandon Lee is he has a, a whitish skin tone, which kind of sets him, you know, it looks good with the, the black makeup, you know what I mean? It's a good contrast versus just regular skin color and black. So, just a couple things. This is the first trailer. I'm definitely interested in seeing this movie. So I just wanted to put my thoughts out there because, I mean, Brandon Lee has got the high bar of The Crow. Absolutely amazing movie. But this one looks not bad. So I'm very curious. Very curious. Thanks for watching this reaction, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe. See you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Wrath out. See ya.